In this video, we're gonna look at 10 awesome fish for a nano aquarium. If you're trying to figure out which fish to buy, you're not quite sure, then this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Richard from The Beginner's Reef, and I'm here to help you succeed with your saltwater aquarium by providing you with information, tips, and resources. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All the links mentioned in this video you can find in the video description below. Make sure to stick around to the end where I've got an awesome beginner's tip that will really, really help you out. Number one on the list is the Clown Goby. They usually come in either yellow or a green coloration and they are the most popular nano fish because they grow to about one inch in length. They're super peaceful, really hardy, really easy to keep, but they will fight with their own kind. So only have one per nano aquarium. They're good with most corals. Just be careful when you get into SPS as the clown gobies like to sit in the branches of the SPS just to keep an eye out for danger. If they pick a favorite perch, they can wear the tissue down and kill the branch of that SPS. But that's gonna be well into your future if you're uh, just starting out in saltwater aquariums. They do burrow in sand, so make sure you provide them sand in your nano tank and also give them lots of live rock as they like to have bolt holes to dive into if they feel threatened. Being a goby, they are prone to jumping, so make sure you have the top of your aquarium covered with a mesh or a canopy. If you have a rimless aquarium, these are probably not the fish to have in your aquarium as you will most likely find them dried upon the carpet one morning. They are carnivores, but they will generally eat anything that you can put into the tank. Flake food, pellet food, but make sure you do give them frozen food or mysis, shrimp, something like that, meaty foods, just to make sure that they are well fed. Number two is Hector's goby. It's a really, really nice fish. It's got a dark bluish black body with uh, yellow stripes that go horizontally from head to tail. Makes it really nice contrasting colors. Really, really pretty fish when it's swimming around. It's a really peaceful fish does not bother other fish, other invertebrates. Uh, it's reef safe, it doesn't pester your corals. It does like to sift your sand, so do make sure that uh, you have sand for it. It likes to go through picking out algae, detritus, uneaten food, things like that. Because of that, it will keep your sand pristine, so it's a really good guy to have in your nano aquarium. It's an omnivore, so it's gonna eat everything. Algae, worms, any food you give it, meaty foods, flake food, pellet food and it's going to grow to about three inches so it makes it perfect for a nano aquarium number three is the peculiar clownfish really good beginner nano fish they are very very common they're very very hardy it makes them great because you can not be exactly the best with your water parameters and they are pretty forgiving because of that so really good to start off with in your nano tank they can be kept singly or as a pair Try and get the captive bred ones if you can find them. They're a little bit more accustomed to aquariums and because of that, they tend to do better in nano aquariums. They're reef safe, so they're not gonna pick at your corals. They're invertebrate safe, so they're not gonna pester your shrimp and your crabs. They're gonna grow to about three inches and they're omnivores, actually. My clowns are absolute pigs. They eat everything you put in there. If you do have a mated pair and they are laying eggs, just be aware that when you put your hand into the aquarium, they could be coming in and poking you and pestering your hand just because they're protecting their eggs. Number four on the list is green chromis. Probably most second most popular fish after the clownfish when it comes to aquariums. This beautiful green coloration kind of catches the light as it swims around, making them really, really eye-catching. Because they like to sit in the top level of the aquarium above the coral, they really do catch the eye when they're swimming around. Keep them either as a single fish or as a three. They seem to do better in odd numbers for whatever reason. In my 20 years keeping saltwater aquariums, if you have them in pairs, or even if you get into bigger shoals, they seem to pick each other off one by one, but they generally do better in odd numbers. I don't know why, I've asked the question many a times on the forums to other aquarists, and it seems to be the general consensus that odd numbers seem to do better. Who knows? Uh, because these are active fish, they're probably better off being fed several times a day. 
two to three feedings is better than just one. If they're fat and happy, they're going to be out swimming, less prone to disease, illness, that kind of thing. Make sure you provide lots of live rock for them as they do like to drop into the holes when they are startled or feel threatened. And they will grow to about four inches over time. But great fish for a nano tank. Number five is the Cross's Damsel. It's a very, very unique fish. It's got a, an orange body with a horizontal electric blue stripe that runs from nose to tail. They are fairly rare, but if you can find them, they are a beautiful fish to add to your aquarium, especially a nano tank because they will be a centerpiece in there. So really, really cool if you can find them. Being a damsel, they are going to be semi-aggressive, so you want to make sure they are one of the last fish that you add to your aquarium. Uh, make sure it's the only damsel you have in your tank, otherwise you will get territorial disputes. Saying that, they are very reef safe, good with your invertebrates, good with the other fish, just do not add them first, otherwise they'll take the tank as their own and they will fight everything else that gets added so add them last they're an omnivore so they're going to eat everything that you throw in there and they're going to grow to about two inches so it makes them perfect for a nano aquarium number six is the bumblebee goby also known as the wheeler's goby it's a really unique looking fish kind of the the name gives it away it has a kind of a yellow and red striped body kind of looks like a bit like a bumblebee really cool fish very unique coloration when it's swimming around it uh, it catches the eye they like to cruise around the sand bed and build a cave between the sand and the live rock so make sure you do provide lots of live rock for them to swim in and out of and also lots of live sand for them to dig into and because they build caves they do have a symbiotic relationship with the pistol shrimp so if you add a pistol shrimp to your tank generally the two of them eventually will cohabit the same cave which makes them a very unique feature for a, a nano aquarium being a goby they're a jumper so again make sure the top of your tank is covered they're going to grow up to about two inches and they're an omnivore so feed them everything they're going to eat it perfect fish for your nano tank number seven on the list is the talbot's damsel uh, these are not normally a fish that you see on the list. I've put them on there because I've had two in my 75 gallon aquarium for a couple of years now and they've they've really grown on me. They're a really cool fish. They've got like a reddish bluish body with a bright yellow head and when they swim around that yellow really catches the light and makes them stand out. They're really hardy, very very peaceful towards other tank members but again being a damsel make sure you add them last in your aquarium. Give them lots of rock for darting into if they feel threatened. And if you wanna keep them as a pair, you're gonna need an aquarium of at least 30 gallons. But if you've got like a 10, 15 gallon nano tank, just one in there is pretty cool. He's just gonna cruise around the top half of the tank, just doing his thing. Reef safe, not gonna bother your corals, not gonna bother other fish, other inverts. They're gonna to grow to about an inch and a half, two inches and an omnivore, so they're going to eat everything that you put in there, making them really easy to keep. That's the Talbot's damsel. Number eight is the yellow belly damsel. This is a really, really beautiful fish if you can find them. They've got a yellow belly and an electric blue upper half. And when they swim around, wow, the contrast of those colors and it catching the light, oh, they are beautiful. You can see them from across the room. They're really, really pretty fish. Really peaceful, again, damselfish if you add them at the end of your stocking list they are going to be model citizens very hardy very forgiving so if this is your first tank you might want to look at adding one of these as, as your last fish you can either keep them singly or in pairs but if you keep them as a pair you've got to add them together and as your last pair going into the tank reef safe they're not going to pester anybody else Omnivores, they're going to eat everything you put in there, flakes, pellets, frozen food, mysis, brine shrimp, you name it, they're going to eat it. And they're going to grow to about an inch, inch and a half, making them perfect for your nano tank. Number nine is the Neon Gobi, really cool fish, kind of like a dark black body with an electric blue stripe that runs from nose to tail. Another fish that when it's swimming around, it catches the light, it really pulls your eye over to it to see what it's up to. Very hardy, really easy to keep and feed. They do have a cool tendency where they tend to pick the dead scales or parasites off other fish. So if you see them going up and pecking on your other fish, don't worry, that's just what they do. It, uh, it helps to keep the, uh, the fish and the tank clean. 
They're reef safe, good community fish. Only keep one per tank unless it's an actually mated pair in the fish store or the online supplier. It's a carnivore, so it's generally gonna eat your frozen food, your mice, things like that. They may eat flakes and pellets. Generally, have a look when you're gonna buy it, see what they're feeding them in the store, watch them feed, see what you need to feed them. If they're only gonna be eating mice or frozen, generally, just leave them in the store. As a beginner in a nano tank, you want the easiest fish that are gonna eat everything and gonna be really easy to keep. But if they are eating flakes and, uh, and pellets, great, go for it. They're gonna grow to about two inches, making them perfect for a nano aquarium. And last at number 10 is the two spot blenny. This is a, a really cool looking fish. Got like a dark silvery kind of body to it. And then on the, each side it has two black spots. Kind of looks like a pair of eyes that it uses for camouflage in the wild. It's a very peaceful fish, it's very hardy, and it's also very active. So if you have any timid fish in the aquarium, it helps to get them out of their caves and swimming around. Do provide lots of live rock for them as they do like to jump into holes if they're feeling threatened. But generally as a blenny, keep it by itself in a nano aquarium. You put another blenny in there, they're just gonna fight and it's gonna cause stress and illness so just one blenny per nano tank they're a great algae eater so they're going to be cruising around your tank all day just picking off bits of algae which can help to keep any algae from blooming and becoming an outbreak they're going to grow to about two inches and being an omnivore they're going to eat everything that you put in there so really good fish for uh, a nano tank and that's that uh, number 10, the two spot blenny. Well, that was just a brief selection of some of the coolest nano fish you can get for your aquarium. If you have any other suggestions, please stick them below. I always love to hear of uh, different fish that people have got and why they're their favorite. And as promised, here's your beginner's tip. When you've got a nano aquarium, you're very, very restricted to what you can do with it. But by using smaller animals, smaller corals, you can really make a cool, diverse aquarium. Zoas and mushrooms are perfect for nano aquariums because they are small and you can fit a lot more in them. Having a small fish like clown gobies and a few hermit crabs and snails can really make the tank very diverse. And one of the best things that I always recommend to people with nano aquariums is something like a goby pistol combination. It'll give that small aquarium a really cool focal point that you can then build the rest of the aquarium around. Make sure you give that subscribe button a push if you found this information helpful and be sure to check out our other videos. We've got some really, really great stuff that I think you'll find really helpful. See you next time.